to put it to put it to put, to, uh, to put the plug in one more time. <laughs> so cast smash dot net is your one stop place. Definitely find all these events. Oh, so it should be like a bot that just like just puts it in the chat every now. And then. <laughs> it's all good, man. I can tell everybody. It's no big deal here, but. Uh, you know what? So, You're right, Vance. You're so totally Shaka right. Sushi did used to, he also has a fox, uh, to my understanding, but I know he's been working on this Wario for a little bit while, so we're going to go ahead and go up against Rafi's Bowser. We'll see how it goes. It's 44% off the bat, and Rafi with the edge guard phase inactive already, 79%. If Jerry can land, man, he's got to figure out what he's going to do once he's able to get his feet on the ground. Oh. Put him back on the ground after that stock. <laughs> I mean, he put him up in the air at that point. Yeah. I mean, what do you think uh, of this matchup? It's, it's so the way that Rafa is able to handle it is very good demonstration of like, okay, once I have Wario in disadvantage, right, I want to make sure I keep him in it, and I don't understand the range that Wario works because Wario does have those lasting hitboxes. Yeah. He does have a small disjoints a little bit, so you kind of have to understand how Wario works when he's land. Being Wario likes to be in the air, especially landing with aerials, as we've seen. So as long as Rafi understands when Jerry's going to overcommit. He should be fine, but Jerry also, like, yeah. exactly, he's going to overcome it by coming from the ledge with the forward air, right? So Rafi is able oh. to get that punish. That's Jerry right. keeps it up to two to one stocks here. Let's see, uh, see if we can ask him to get Yeah, Rafi's Bowser seems pretty relentless, like, like you know. I'm sorry, that flamethrower has no business <laughs> being un as diable and dealing, like, 50%. How is that safe? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Jerry, that's, that's Jerry making sure he's not going to go out without a fight. Hands on the platform, punishes him for going flamethrower. Nice edge guard face into his Ooh, hands. Okay. That downer was a pretty Aww. good option. Would have stopped the up B a little bit, but the mm. sweet spot back air will take game one into Rafi's hands. Yeah, that was like just a glimpse of like, he need, uh, Chocolate Sushi needs to do what he did in those like last 20 seconds before he died. Yeah. The whole match, because Rafi was doing that to him. Yeah, once he, once he was able to like understand Rafi's range, he was able to put in damage, and I think Chocolate Sushi was kind of onto something. <laughs> yeah. I just felt that being sauced stock one oh, yeah. kind of put him a little bit on the back foot. He was like, all right, hold up. Who among <laughs> us? Yeah. Who, who can say? So, but he had it He had it going on towards the last hit. I know uh, he's played several times Eon and Charlie. They're all, they're all, all the Lion Hero people are really good friends and hang out with each other, so. Must be nice. You gotta find <laughs> a good group of people, man. <laughs> That's so far away. <laughs> I'm in the valley. San Fernando Valley, not San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> Good Nair, cross up, gets the up throw to the up air. Oh, he tried to wait for Bowser's falling speed to get him for the up tilt, but he doesn't get it just yet. I feel that the way that Chocolate Sushi is going to have to play this is kind of like a very touch and go. He goes for yeah. a couple hits and then Ooh. he gets out, but unfortunately, Rafi will get him in the air with the back air. Yeah, because um, Rafi's doing a really good job of breaking out of you know these combos and momentum starters. Mm hmm. Back down throw, nice. Look for the landing, I like it. Finally gets the punish here. No, he's gonna land on the platform, and that would have been good to get, Yeah, platform play. And he would have been good to get in the forest match, that's why Chocolate Sushi went out for it. Back out of shield. That's why sometimes you gotta not try to hit your opponent, but try to hit where they're going. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed the bite. Low recovery here. Forward air this time, no punish from Rafi, gets the bite, heals a little bit, puts him off the stage, almost with the Ooh. back air, and he barely wow. gets the invincibility on the ledge to survive the, the Bowser Bomb. Yeah, but he is he's blocking uh, everything that he was basically eating in the first match a lot way better. Alright, he's gotta fight. watch this up on the landing. No panic, no jump. Good opportunity here, still gets the ledge. Back air, not ready just yet. Back throw. I like the fact that he goes for the down air because he knows like Bowser's up B, he can't contest with it, but the problem is like you're sacrificing too much of it and that up smash from Wario. His head got so big. Yeah? I mean have you seen his hands get from oh, go for that forward smash? Oh Jerry working on it here, fifty five percent to Ra Rafi and he goes for the up B as a panic. No. He does have Waft activated, loses a lot of spaghetti just happened right now. If he can get a waft, this could be a big play. Bowser bomb at the ledge. Yeah. All Chocolate Sushi needs to do is honestly get a waft confirm here, but he missed the mark here, gets at the ledge. Man, Gonna watch the landing. Uh, Ooh. That was a great forward smash attempt. Mm hmm And he reads the roll. That's it's good because at that point, like, Rafi didn't want to be at disadvantage against yeah. Wario. He didn't want to be at the corner, so for Jerry to just read the roll. I keep saying his real name, but <laughs> it's Chocolate Sushi. It's because I know him, that's why. That's, that's the trouble when you know players by their real name. It's all good. I think the viewers will... 
They're in, they're intelligent. They know what yeah. you about. Chocolate Switch is so slowly about to stack. Watch the landing here. I talked about it. Watch the landing. Can he, no amount of DI can save you yeah. from that one. He almost brought it back. If you guys are wondering what the CG and Rafi's tag is, it's Carnage Gaming. Uh, they also sponsor players.